going on welcome to the channel all right in this video we are going to test out tesla's new updated parallel park feature so i am gonna drive around a little bit here and find a really tight parallel parking spot and see how it responds so i believe there's some spots coming up right here to my right so hopefully we can just use this and not have to drive around too much but see there's no cars around it so i really want to try to find a tight spot and see what fsd does i would use this but there's people right there all right hopefully we got some spots on the road here this would actually make for more difficult this is kind of a spot here but would be an illegal U-turn for me to get there, so I'm not gonna do that. But we've got a ton of spots right here. It looks like there's a spot right there between the red car and the BMW, but it looks awfully tight, which may be why it's available. Um, but that's what I'm looking for anyways, but if it's too tight where it can't fit, then of course we're not gonna do that. And it's this spot right here, which is super tight. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So hit that P whenever it pops up and then just start when the vehicle comes to a complete stop. Now, let's see, we are now using Tesla Vision and notice how it fills the cars in with the camera. And what it's gonna do is try to park in between this red car and the BMW behind me. And let's actually test this out to see how it works so far so good um hmm interesting so it just paused oh wow and it did not work it aborted it canceled i think it thinks it's too close to one side here which is incredible which i don't believe oh my god i was really thinking that it would be able to pull this off i mean just to show you all I can pull this off. Let's see here. Yeah, just like that. I I was able to pull this off. So, I mean, when I say tight parking, this was definitely some super tight parking right here. And it looks like FSD was not able to get it. And I'm really, really upset to see that because I really thought it would. And um, yeah, you can see it's super tight, but I was able to do it once again. So just to prove the fact that it had enough space. All right, so here is another spot. We're gonna test something else out over here. So this is not actually a legit spot, but FSD should pick it up and it does. It's very tight. It says no parking over here, but I wanna test out if FSD can figure this out because Again, I'm trying to put it to the test in some really tight spots. So here we go. This is FSD Vision in action. And this is just, just enough space that my I know my car can fit. Let's see if FSD can make it fit now. All right, so this time it looks like the parallel park did a great job. But again, this is not a real spot, but I was just testing out a really tight spot to see if it would work. So the first one was a fail and the second one, it did a really good job and it took one swipe and, and that, that was a perfect parallel park right there. Did a phenomenal job there. So let's see if we can test it out again since there's a lot of spots to work with over here. Um, let's see what we got. So um, I guess there's not too much going up that way. So. Let's see if I make a right here. These spots look pretty tight, Com compacted together. All right, here we go. This is a this is a ridiculously tight spot, and I don't even think my car will fit in there. It thinks it will. So here we go. We're gonna test it out. Oh no, it went away. No, it came back. Okay, let's see. I don't think it's gonna be able to do this. If it does, I'd be surprised because even I don't think my car can fit in here. 
It's gonna definitely fail. It's gonna fail. It's definitely gonna fail. No? Can it do it? I'll be so surprised. It better not hit the car behind me. It's so close to the car. Wow, I can't believe it even made it this far. If it figures the spot out and it couldn't the first one. Wow, look at that swipe. That was really, there's actually a lot of space behind me. I, I, I think it might do it actually. This is pretty crazy. So now we, we've got officially two out of three. And let me tell you, this is a super tight spot. I don't know how it figured it out. And it's in the lines. It did a perfect job. Auto part complete. Nice. That was crucial. That, that was really well done. Um, even getting out of this spot is going to be difficult because you saw the way that it put me in this spot. Um, but I'm really surprised that, that it was able to figure that one out. So, so far we got two out of three. And um, yeah, uh, really good job with the last two. With the first one, we saw that it did fail, um, unfortunately. But, you know, I proved the fact that it was able to fit. So I'm not sure why it failed. But anyways, here we go with one more spot. This is again, nope, nope, nope. This is someone's driveway, so we can't park there. But um, let's see if we can find one more spot over here that's pretty tight that we can test it out and really put this to the to rest here. Um, but again, you know, two out of three is not the numbers we're looking for. We're looking for um, three out of three, of course. Let's see if we can park behind this Mustang. And let's see what it would do about parking on a hill. So it actually does not even register that as a spot. I think it's because it's a little too close to the curb. So it didn't even register it as a spot. So looks like this is now let's see how it works with um, the trash cans in the way looks like it's not even picking up that spot interesting so I'm pretty sure you got to go like eight seven eight miles per hour and then it picks up the spots um, but of course there's got to be no trash cans or driveway and then we should be good to park. So let's see if there's anything coming up here. Man, as you can tell, Arlington is no joke with the parking. Um, everything is really tightly packed over here. And there is not one single spot on the street here, unfortunately. So we are gonna make a right and see if we can land us a spot right over here let's see if it recognizes this boxed up as a parking spot and it does so let's click that and let's see what it does from back here we're going to try to park in this spot we got we've got um trash cans in the way too so let's see what it does actually here this should be an interesting one so i'm kind of in the middle of the road still so now i've got a bus coming it needs to make a move like ASAP. So here we go. We're finally going into the box. And let's see if FSD can figure this out. And it does. And it, let's see, we've got trash cans in the way. Better not touch the trash cans. And it didn't. And it parked perfectly in the box. So yeah, three out of four it did a really nice job with this and I'm just gonna go ahead and park here so I want to thank everyone for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it I was trying to give you uh, the best examples of some park situations in a real life setting hit that like button if you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe for more thanks again I hope you have a great rest of your day